Coming to the nutritional side of it, you probably all know the story about conjugated linoleic acids. Um, but the business again, you know, how, how does giving the animal the natural uh, feeding system for that animal relate to the quality of the products that it produces? And milk and meat, red meat, have gotten a lot of bad press for the uh, bad health consequences of high consumption of those products. Increased cancer, increased heart disease, and so forth. And at this stage, uh, the research has not been done on animals larger than rats and chickens. But what we find, they're, they're looking toward moving toward uh, human studies with conjugated linoleic acids, and I'm actually a couple years out of date in finding out how far they've, they've gotten along on, on these studies. But the initial study, one of the interesting things was uh, uh, with uh, these, these smaller animals is they found out that milk produced on grass, which means it's high in the CLAs, the conjugated linoleic acids, not only prevented breast cancer, it reversed it. Amazing. And there's stacks of information coming along right now in, in these preliminary small animal trials that indicate the problems with milk and red meat is the diet of the animal. And if you get the animal back to a natural diet, the human health problems probably will disappear. We don't know. That's just conjecture. But that's what it's looked like it is, is going to happen. So that's another reason to reduce the number of feedlots gradually, but, but to change it around and actually yourself Look at the food that you are consuming and, and the choices that, that you make.